Hey guys, welcome to George's Mesa Adventures. I am coming to you guys right now. I'm in Phoenix and I am doing calls uh, before I take my father-in-law to work. He works in Chandler. Right now I'm doing calls in Phoenix. Right now I just happen to be doing calls for Walmart and I just found something out this morning. Um, basically, if you guys want to help, <laughs> like, like I said, I'm getting uh, funds together so I can get to Vegas on October, uh, 10th around then we're going to book a hotel, probably for circus circus so that we can hang out with clowns. No, I'm just joking. I don't know. We it's, I think it's a cheaper option. I don't really know Vegas. I've never really went there to gamble and stuff like that. So I went there as a kid with my foster parents. Alex, what's up? <laughs> but uh, never actually went there as an adult. So um, yeah, but anyways, uh, another way that you can help, I just found out this morning that we are giving incentives with one of the companies that I drive for called Spark. If anybody wants to sign up and become a driver, like I said, as long as you have a clean license, um, registration, and insurance, you are able to do calls. Uh, Walmart calls are mainly deliveries, so it's uh, Walmart is insanely busy at all times. But um, yeah, link will be in the description. Uh, basically got to complete five calls and you I think you get a bonus also I'll read the incentive a little bit more but right now I'm gonna take you guys on a Walmart call so just come with me hey guys we're in the Walmart let's start this call so let's do this so we got here preview sharpen list Bam. sorry my nails are long but yes there's my shopping list scan it's gonna tell me where to go first so F Lemonade. Can you see that? I think it's going to be two also. So two lemonades. A tropical punch. Next item, tropical punch. And confirm. Sugar A15. That'd be right here. Sorry if I'm talking kind of like this. Next item, sugar. Let's see how it tells us where we need to go. Aisle 115. Four pound bag of sugar. Next item, a 11 peanut butter. They are like the deliveries that we just come in and pick up. So now this is peanut butter, but it's creamy. Yeah, guys, it's real easy. You're just picking up the shop, shopping it, and then delivering it. 
Um, these are Walmart calls. Card. Like I said, the link will be in the description. I. Corn dogs. I think that's gonna be okay. And then a milk. So A21 is gonna be all the way in the back. So let's go this way. Was the last one. So now it says it's ready. Just about to go ahead up and shopping is finished. So now what I do is I go to a the instructions right there. So head to self checkout. Um, follow the prompts next on the next screen. You want to be the item, sir? The spark. Awesome. I'm sorry, guys. I had a bad air coming up real fast. Uh, it's that simple. Now, uh, basically, when you didn't see me at the end there, I scan. The, the phone's going to prompt you on what to do next. So I scan the QR code uh, right there on the Walmart. Uh, computer screen when you, you're you usually done you can see the QR code for like online shopping and stuff like that. I scan that and then once I did that I uh waited for the gentleman I asked him if he wanted to uh check the items because what it what it will do will show me a list it say view list and you can Take a look see to make sure. So I have these Walmart bags. Hey guys, we're back in the car. That was awesome. That was cool bringing you guys with me. Now I'm gonna uh, go ahead and see back to exit pass. Where's my camera at? Bam, there's the items. Press that button. I've left the store. And then I've left the store. So I'm going to go to that screen. I don't want to show you uh, the other screens because I think it's going to show the address of the customer. Continue. Proceed. And then uh, covering up the customer's address. But yeah, uh, it's going to say start delivery. Slide that bar. Okay, so building three. And they should have instructions. Um, usually, if they're nice, <laughs> then they'll have instructions for you on what building they're, if they're an apartment, uh, what building number they are in, things like that. Um, but yeah, guys, that's what I do. This, uh, this company, uh, Spark, which is mainly Walmart calls, I use, uh, because I get paid weekly with them, I use mainly for, like, rent and my car payments. So I'll try to usually do about six to seven hundred dollars a week on that account. And then with the other one, I just kind of make what I need uh, throughout the day. Uh, so it's really undetermined what I really make with the other one. Because uh, I don't really know. I kind of just make what I... So sometimes I'll need like, I think, 35 to $40 a day in gas. There's a cop in front of me. And usually with food, maybe ten dollars. And uh, with anything else, maybe another fifteen. So altogether, 
Sorry guys, I'm distracted right now. I'm driving. Oh, there's a car accident. There was a cop in the middle of the road and I was wondering what was going on. And it's a car accident uh, in the middle. But yeah, I'm here in Tempe and uh, gonna finish up this call, drop it off, uh, head to Jeremy, go take him to work. After I take Jeremy to work, I continue on with calls. Uh, he gets off at 10.30. So I usually do nonstop from 2.30 to about five or six. And then I usually have to stop to go get dinner. So I'll go get dinner and then I'll try to finish up with a few more uh, Walmart calls to finish out that account. Um, but yeah, that's usually how my day goes. Normally, uh, if you guys are interested in doing calls, like I said, the link will be down in the description. Uh, you get to uh, sign up with that referral code. Uh, make sure you uh, go in with your feet running. I'm telling you, it's uh, the freedom that you have is pretty beautiful. You know, like I said, if something happens or I'm needed at home, I can just log off for a call and go take care of what I need to go take care of and then log back on. But then again, uh, the fallback to that is it's all on you. So if you're like doing one or two calls and you're not really working and you're not seeing the money come in, don't blame the companies because these companies have the calls coming in. A lot of people are like complaining about miles and how much they get paid. Like I said, I run an average, go for that average and then just hit the floor running. I do as many as I can do and squeeze in within that day. But yeah, um, this one was, the drop off was like two miles. So it wasn't that bad. I think the payout is $20. God, sorry guys. This guy just decided to cross out of nowhere. And you know how that goes with the lights. But um, yeah, pretty awesome. This is how I'm gonna raise my money. Well, this is specifically with this um, company right now. I'm doing my, like I said, I'm preparing and saving money for my wedding. Uh, it is September, the beginning of September right now. We are living in the beginning of October. Probably like 8th or 9th, I'm gonna check my funds of what, uh, how much I've added up. So what I'm gonna do is with the other company, with the extra money, I'm gonna try to make sure I make at least an extra $25, no matter what. And I put it inside this little tiny uh, red, container thing that I got from the 99 cent store. And I'm gonna start filling that up uh, to see how much I can get by the time uh, next month rolls around when we have to leave. And uh, yeah, we got the hotel stay, we got a rental for a van, like I said, uh, and food and gas. So, and then of course the wedding. So I'm just trying to raise at least $800. I'm trying to raise as much as I'm putting into it because I don't know, I really love the fact that uh, my fiance's for one, gonna marry me. And for two, I mean, I feel really bad. I don't really have parents that I can ask like, hey, can you help me with my wedding or whatever? So this is my way of uh, raising the funds for it. So if you guys can help, like I said, I really appreciate it. My cash app tag will be in the description. I'm thinking of creative ways. I'm probably gonna put my cash app tag on my car and try to raise as much as I can. If I don't raise a penny, hey, it's fine. It's, you know, uh, it's completely fine. I don't expect, I don't expect anything really. But if we do raise anything, it's gonna be totally awesome and it would make, make the experience just that much better. Uh, but yeah, you guys are awesome. Remember, comment, like, subscribe. If you are not subscribed to this channel, make sure that you subscribe. In the near future, we are going to um, start making merchandise. Uh, I will make a video explaining the merchandise and explaining uh, the concept and the idea behind the merchandise. Um, but yeah, I'm pulling up to the complex right now. It's the tides. So let's see here. He said building three. 
tides. Definitely the tides. So let's go into this other entrance. People got mad. Sorry, I have to turn. At location, it has a, a little slide for at location, and now it has a bunch of prompts for the drop off. So I'll start showing you guys those prompts in one second here. These uh, signs are really small, so let me pull up it's building two. And I think this would be building three, right? Okay, I'm gonna get out. This building six. Building three, right there. Okay, guys. There goes the microphone. There goes the microphone. Okay, so I don't know how people would feel if I brought you guys to the door, so I'm just gonna end it right here. Uh, yeah, so basically, without showing you guys our address, it's gonna say, uh, don't make any physical contact, blah, blah, blah. Say, got it. Uh, confirm that you have the order and select that you're at the location and where are you dropping it off? I'm gonna wait to press that and then it's gonna prompt you to take a picture, it's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah guys, that's a call with Walmart. Um, thank you very much for coming with me along this ride. Comment, like, subscribe, you guys are awesome.